Akon. Look here, boy. Let me explain this to you. Let's tell the truth. Suge and Akon definitely won't be exchanging Christmas gifts this year. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, we all know Suge Knight has his own podcast called Collect Calls with Dave Mays, who used to be like the owner of The Source magazine back in the days. And Suge Knight has alluded that Akon and his artist Detail sexually assaulted two young females under age, basically, which is a pretty serious, probably the worst crime you can accuse somebody of doing. As soon as that first episode ended of the podcast, Akon put out a tweet which said this, the world knows a lie when they hear it. It's unfortunate that this man is going out like this. It's sad and seriously embarrassing. Regardless of our history, I'm still going to be praying for him. Very righteous of you, Mr. Akon. But what do you really feel? In case you don't know the history of this, Akon went on Vlad TV, explained when Suge Knight got knocked out in the club. We saw footage of the time he's laid out, unconscious, not even moving, looking like a big old burrito. But yeah, Akon went and explained everything that happened. He pretty much said that the whole reason that Suge was knocked out was because Suge was pressing Akon for some money that Akon apparently owed to Ray J. Which Suge Knight was going to get a piece of that. It was, it was apparently just about $12,000 that Suge would get. But here's the audio of what Suge Knight said on his own podcast. Akon, look here, boy. Let me explain this to you. Let's tell the truth. I wouldn't have brought it up and said, you're going to bring it up and say what it was all about. Let's tell the real truth. And one of my homegirls, she was a hustler. She had a little sister, 13 years old. Her best friend was 12 years old. She in the car with her. You, you in detail call her. She said, I got my little sister's, my little sister and her uh, best friend with me. I said, well, let's stop by for a second. She go by y'all hotel, in y'all room. She get a call. The dude's at the hotel she met when she was coming to see you. He said, come by, that's a 20 minutes. She said, I can't do it right now. I gotta take my little sister's home and her friend. I'll be back in an hour. He said, come by 20 minutes. I got a big payday for you. You, Akon, said, go ahead. You can leave your little sister and her friend right here. We're ordering them some meat. She go up to the next room. She's gonna come back in 20 minutes. She said she come back about 35 minutes. When she get back in the room, her little sister and her other little girl don't want to eat. They look scared, they crying. So when she told me, I pull up on her. She said she going to the police to put you motherfuckers in jail. I said, nah, we don't do that telling on the police. Motherfucker, deal with it. I promise you that. So I was trying to catch you about that situation. Now you want to turn around and act like, oh, one of your homeboys knocked me out. Well, that didn't happen. Yeah, nigga swung, that ain't shit. I get there, get at y'all. I'm with my girl and the bitch. Y'all got about 20 months with you. Hey, kind, you went and got the police. The police got on me. Nobody said nothing until the police got there. He swung, the police tased me like, I had all kind of shit that took forever to get the shit off me. All that little wire tased and shit. I didn't trip, no harm, no foul. I didn't say shit, you shouldn't say shit. I tell you I need to holler at him and holler at you. Y'all playing these games with ducking. They tell me, y'all up there with uh, Chris Brown. I pull up there with a bitch. It's 20 of you motherfuckers. I get out. I holler at nephew. Tell him I'll catch him later. Fired on your brother, chipped his fucking tooth. He fell to the ground, get up running, and take off running. And the rest of y'all ran. That's the end of that. So a chomo ass, don't get to uh, putting off stories and you know the truth. But at the end of the day, that's like weirdo shit. I'm more important about, if I'm gonna be talking where, number one, I'm in prison. I'm doing motherfucking time. Cause I'm doing time, you know, I feel I can give back anywhere I can. So yeah, serious allegations there from Mr. Suge Knight. You heard me? And Akon has since then told TMZ that he's planning to sue Suge, probably sue Dave Mays as well since it's his platform. But this is what Akon said in a statement. I need to make it very clear. I absolutely deny these outrageous, false and disgusting claims Suge Knight made on his podcast about me. I've never called, received or had any contact with Suge Knight since 
he has been incarcerated. My voice you heard on his podcast was a soundbite previously recorded from an interview I did with DJ Vlad three years ago regarding Suge Knight in 2009. I've never been a guest on Suge Knight's podcast. I always believe in building positivity in the world and my actions and legacy have spoken to that. It's unfortunate that I have to defend myself from these lies and I will be involving my legal team in filing a defamation lawsuit against Mr. Knight. My prayers for him will still continue. So yeah, Akon's taking the high road. I'm serious, no, Akon is building his own city out there. So the amount of people that are supporting him right now, he is pretty much, some people might call him a gatekeeper or someone that is very, very influential in the industry or kind of in the world at the moment. Good of people in high places where Suge Knight's in jail. But I'm a bit puzzled by this. You're suing a man in prison. He's already doing pretty much a life sentence. So you're suing for money. He ain't got any money. Or you're just suing just to win the case so you can clear your name. So it'll be interesting to see if he actually goes through with this lawsuit against Suge Knight. Anyone who's got some legal knowledge about that, leave a comment below. Educate me. But yeah, quick update that, yeah, Akon is suing Suge Knight. I want to know what you lot think. Do you believe this story about Akon and detail with this sexual assault, basically? And do you think Akon is actually going to sue Suge Knight as he said? Leave a comment below, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It's Fresh Hip Hop Opinion. Peace and love.